Hi guys, welcome back to Super Math for You. This is Mr. Rego. Today we're reviewing the Algebra 1 EOC, solving system of equations by substitution and elimination. Our first problem, solve the system. I have Y system because I have two equations. When you have two or more equations, it's called a system. By substitution, what are the steps? First one is isolate the X or the Y in one of the equations. Isolate, leave the X. Solve, leave it by itself. Then I'm going to substitute that into the other equation and then solve for the value. So let me explain. I have two equations. The idea is to leave the x or the y by itself in one of the two equations, the first or the second one. We notice that the first equation, the x is by itself. So that's my first step. All right. My second step is to substitute. That's where the name comes from. So now I'm going to substitute this into the other equation. So instead of writing the x, I'm going to write whatever is equal to, okay? And that will be it. So let me write the second equation, which is negative x. Instead of the x, I'm going to put a parenthesis, okay? Plus 2y equals to 6. And whatever the y, x was, I'm going to write it in here, negative 3y plus 4. And that's it. That's what's called substitution, substitute into the other equation. From here, I need to be careful. Distribute that negative, negative, negative. Positive, negative, positive, negative. By the way, this is a y. It looks like a 4. And then I'll bring everything else. 2y equals to 6. 3 and 2 is 5y. And now we're solving for y. Plus 4, plus 4. And I have 5y equals to 10 divided by 5. And the y value is equal to 2. Okay. Once you get one of the values, you go back to any of the equations and plug it back in. The easiest one to replace this is in equation number one. So x equals negative three y. Instead of the y, I'm going to plug it into that value of two plus four. x equals negative six plus four. x equals negative two. And that's my answer. So my answer is negative 2 comma 2. Okay. Now you always want to double check your answers because right now this is my solution. I'm done. But you want to make sure that you get 100. So let's plug it back into it. So in the first equation, I'm going to replace this. X is negative 2. Y is 2. So I'll have negative 2, which is X, equals to negative 3 times Y, which is 2 plus 4, negative 2, negative 3 times 2 is negative 6, plus 4, negative 6 plus 4 is negative 2. So if we have the same thing on both sides, that means this answer is working so far. Let's do the same thing with the second equation. Negative x plus 2 times y, that should be equal to 6. Let's do it. Negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 2. 2 times 2 is 4, 2 plus 4 is 6, which is equal to 6. And you work on both equations, therefore my answer is right. And I'm getting 100. All right, let's try another one. Okay, same idea by substitution. Now remember, I had to leave the x or the y by itself. In the previous uh, system, I had the x by itself here. The y is not by itself, the x is not by itself, neither of them is by itself. So you choose the easiest one to leave by itself. Right now, if you notice, I have 2y equals something. So here is only one step to leave the y by itself, which is divided by 2. You can choose anything you want, but you want to do the easiest one. So I'll write the 2y equals 4x plus 14. And if you notice, just by dividing by 2 on both sides, the y will be by itself okay that's what i want so i won't leave any either the x or the y by itself i just did that in the equation number one as soon as i have one variable by itself i go back and plug it back into the other equation all right so i'm going to write 3x minus 4 instead of the y i write 2x plus 7 equals negative 13. As soon as you replace, now I have only one variable, which is the x. I solve for the x. 3x 
I have to distribute here negative 4 times 2x is negative 8x and negative 4 times 7 is negative 28 and now we're solving the regular equation Combine like terms here, that gives me negative 5x minus 28 equals to negative 13 plus 28 on both sides because I want to leave the x and I get rid of whatever's added and subtracting first. 28, 0. And I have negative 5x equals to, uh, this should be give me 15. Final step, let me write it here. I have negative 5x equals 215 divided by negative 5 divided by negative 5. x equals positive by negative is negative, and that gives me negative 3. As soon as I have one of the variables, I go back and replace it. The easiest one to replace this value is in my previous equation because the y is by itself already. So y equals 2x plus 7 y equals 2 times negative 3 plus 7 y equals negative 6 plus 7 y equals 2 1 and the answer is negative 3 1 if you notice I write it as an order pair because this is one point all right uh, please go back to the uh, solving systems by graphing there I explain all the multiple different answers that I have Okay, so this is the solution. As soon as I have the solution, plug it back in. Let's take the first equation and I have 2y. My y is 1, so equals 4x. 4 times x, but my x is negative 3, plus 14. 2 times 1 is 2. 4 times negative 3 is negative 12, plus 14. Negative 12 plus 14, or 14 minus 12 gives me 2, and so far so good. Let's replace that into the second equation. 3 times x minus 4 times y. 3 times negative 3, negative 4, negative 9 minus 4 minus 4 is negative 13. As long as I have the same value at the end, that means it works out. Therefore, my final answer, x negative 1, y 1, and that's the right answer. All right, guys, don't forget to check the description for more tools, more EOC review videos. I have complete playlists of the EOC review for Algebra 1 and Geometry as well. Okay, now we're going to do elimination. It's a different process, but we can get the same answer. Now, my first step for the previous one was to leave the either the x or the y by itself. Right now, the idea is to eliminate either the x or the y, right? The idea is to have opposite coefficients. What do I mean? If this is 2x, I want to have a negative 2x here so they can cancel out. If I have a negative 5, I want to have a 5 here so they can cancel out. Or the same thing, 3x, then I want to have a negative 3 here. Or if this is 2, then I want to have a negative 2. In our case, we try to multiply one of them to get the other one. So by one number, do I need to multiply the 2 to get a negative 3? In that case, I have to multiply times negative 1.5, right? Negative 1.5 times 2 is going to give me negative 3x. But the idea is I don't want to multiply times decimals. What we do is that we flip these coefficients. Let's pretend that I want to cancel the x's. So that 3, I'm going to multiply in the top, and that 2, I'm going to multiply in the bottom, right? Because 3 times 2 is 6, and 2 times 3 is 6, so I'm getting the same number. But remember, to cancel, one of them has to be negative. It doesn't matter where I put the negative, so let's pretend that I'm going to multiply by negative right there. And now I distribute the negative 3 times every single one term on that equation. So negative 3 times 2x gives me negative 6x. Negative 3 times negative 5 gives me 15y. And equal, right? And negative 3 times 11 is negative 33. So I multiply negative 3 times every single one of them. I'll do the same thing with the 2. I'll distribute this 2 times every single one of them. 2 times 3 is going to give me 6x. 2 times 2 gives me 4y. And 2 times 7 gives me 14. 
as you notice now the x's can cancel out i just need the x or the y one of them all right not both only one of them right now negative six plus six gives me zero right now as soon as i have the opposite coefficients what i do is i add them six minus six or negative six plus six gives me zero 15 plus 4 gives me 19. Negative 3 plus 14, I think, is negative 19. Okay, last step, leave the y by itself. And the y is equal to negative 1. As soon as I get one of the values is the same thing as the substitution. I go back and plug it back into it, either one of the equations. Where do you replace this is up to you. I can replace it to the second equation or to the first equation. I'm going to take the second equation right now. So I have 3x plus 2y equals 7. So I'm replacing the, the y value. So I have 2 times y, which is negative 1, equals 7. 3x minus 2 equals 7, right? 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. So for the x plus 2 plus 2, negative 2 plus 2 cancels out. And I have that 3x equals to 9, my last step divided by 3, x equals to 3. And my final answer is 3 comma negative 1. Okay, same, double check your answers, let's plug it back in. 2 times x, which is 3, minus 5 times y, which is negative 1. 2 times 3 is 6. Negative 5 times negative 1 gives you positive 5. 6 plus 5 is 11, and so far, so good. Second equation, 3 times 3, 2 times y is negative 1. That's supposed to be equal to 7. 3 times 3 is 9. 2 times negative 1 gives me negative 2, and 9 minus 2 is 7, and it worked out. Okay, so this is the right answer. x equals 3, y equals negative 1. Check this video, and this is the whole process of substitution and elimination. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Like the video, please. If this is helping you, subscribe to the channel. Next one, construct a system of linear equations from a word problem. Okay? I'll see you next one. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.